and a half. His eye is taken out. What's up guys? Welcome to Fan Friday, part of Get Real Bass Fishing, Get Real Nation Fan Appreciation. Hey, that rhymed. So Fan Friday is when you send me your videos, pictures of your biggest fish to paulie at getrealbassfishing.com. That's the email, email me them, and I post it at the end of this video. Wait until the end, and you will see your clip. If you guys are into uh, learning more about fishing, or vlogs, or whatever, anything fishing related, be sure to hit that subscribe button underneath this video. Hit the bell so you know when I post, and get notifications. Let's get into rigging this bait that we got out of this Lucky Tackle Box, March 2017. This is the VNM Wild Fang Series Flat Wild Bait. It's a creature bait, but I wanna to talk to you guys how to rig it, where to fish it, and uh, how to fish it. Let's get into it. First, what are the terminal tackle gear that we need? One is an offset hook. I prefer size three, no matter what. Um, a size three offset hook is my preferred rigging for what I'm gonna do in this video. There's many other ways to rig it, but these are my three favorite ways to rig the Flat Wild, Wild Fang, VNM, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so first you need a size three offset hook. Next, either we're gonna use a bullet weight or we're gonna use a split shot and Carolina rig it. Yes, with the Flat Wild, it's got a bunch of paddles to it. All right, so these are thick little appendages on, let's focus this. These are thick appendages, claws, and these are little kickers on the back of the wild thing, or the, the, the flat wild, which give it a lot of vibration in the water. So for the first shot, we're gonna throw either a quarter ounce bullet weight. We're gonna throw it with a quarter ounce bullet weight. Right there. Peg to it or we're gonna throw the half ounce bullet weight, round weight, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this way, when the bait is going through the water column, those kickers actually start kicking, sending vibration through the water and getting a reaction strike, whether, or whether you're pitching, flipping, just running it across like a swim jig or on a chatterbait, whatever you wanna do with it. You're gonna use these bullet weights for the swimming technique. So what you're seeing right now is how it's gonna be rigged. You're gonna have that, that line right there, you're gonna have that peg, you're gonna have that bullet weight all the way pegged up against the bait and the hook. You're gonna have that hook underneath, Texas rigged. You're gonna cast it out, whether you're gonna flip or pitch it, that's up to you. But I prefer, with these kicking appendages that they have, I prefer casting along the bank and reeling it across either weed lines or the bank, just getting that vibration. So that's the pegged bullet weight technique. Now what about the split shot technique? We're gonna keep the same setup with the hook, we're gonna Texas rig it, and then we're gonna get that split shot about six inches up. So with this technique, we're gonna just cast out, let it sit on the bottom and drag it. This quarter ounce or this eighth ounce split shot's gonna go to the bottom first and we're just gonna drag and twitch the flat wild across grass lines, across the bank, across beds, and all that kind of stuff. With this, I will be throwing it on a medium heavy fast action rod just so that I can set the hook with these weights and uh, so I can feel everything. With the line, I'm gonna use 20 pound to 25 pound Cast King Superpower Braid. I like braid when I'm fishing this kind of stuff only because we're going through grass and all that and the braid gets through that a whole lot better than mono or fluoro. If you enjoy these quick little tips, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and guys, thanks for subscribing and thanks for making Get Real Nation the way it is. Enjoy your Fan Friday and guys, send me your clips on through my email. It'll be in the description below. Send them to me by next Friday because I'm going to make the video and post it next Friday of your clips at the end. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay real and have a fantastic day on the water. Share this video with your buddies. Help them learn how to fish some different, some different techniques and catch some more fish this summer. Let's go. Enjoy. Well, I missed fish number two. I don't know why it felt like a decent hook set. Got a good one!
Another nice bass. Might be my four pounder, guys. Yeah! Four pounder, get your scale. The big fish, guys. Look how he ate that Senko. Three seven. Either way, nice fish. 